Hi there, Adam here. This month's XDA Developers TV is brought to you by the Samsung Smart App Challenge 2012. Enter for your chance to win over $4 million in cash prizes by clicking the banner at the top of xdadevelopers.com or by visiting developer.samsung.com. Don't worry, you can trust me. I'm from the internet. Hi there, Adam here. Today we're going to do pro tip number two, wireless mount and shell. Now this will be especially useful for those of you running Android ICS because of the uh, MTP file systems, it makes communications a bit difficult with the SD card. Uh, and for those of you who don't have Android 4.0, uh, it'll make things a lot easier because you don't even have to use a cable. Now it's not required, but you'll want root access as it gives you access to more things on your device. So if you're not rooted, you might want to check out the individual forums for your device. Now you're going to want to install Market App, Quick SSHD, or SSH Droid. Now we'll open up the application and allow it root user access. Hit OK, and next we'll type in a password right here. Now this setup is pretty much the same on Quick SSHD and Droid SSHD. And after you've typed in your password, hit the on button. Well, it says off now, but it'll be on in a minute. And there we go. This thing is now functioning as an SSH and SFTP server. So let's connect up. Now we'll want to open up a terminal. On Linux and Mac, this is the same thing. On Windows, you can use PuTTY to do this. Now you can see here, my IP address on my device is 192.168.1.109. So, here on the computer, we'll type SSH root as our username, root at 192.168.1.109. And then hit enter. My server was off, I gotta hit it back on. And now we'll try that again. Type in your password. And now we have a shell prompt. And as you can see, it's working the same way it works on my desktop computer here. I can open up a terminal here, type ls, and on the device, the same commands all work. Now the fun doesn't just stop there. I've got a bunch of important documents I need to transfer over to my device. So, you know, we can also use the SFTP function in order to transfer our important stuff over. Now to transfer these files over, the way we do that is under Linux and Mac, you can use the standard operating system to do it. On Windows, you can use WinSCP to transfer files over SFTP. And for Linux, for Ubuntu at least, we can open up Nautilus and then hit Control L for the location bar. And we can type in SFTP colon slash slash root at 192.168.1.109. And then we can hit enter. Now you'll notice it's asking for that same password again. And there we have it. This is our SD card, so I'll click there. And we can transfer the important documents right over by just dragging and dropping across our wireless network. And as you can see, I've transferred my file right over to my device. And it's really just that simple. I'd like to thank you for watching. Don't forget to add me to your circles on Google Plus and subscribe to this channel. Until next time, keep hacking.